That could be like King of Castle. I don't know who that name. is. You say that I'm too complicated. Hey guys and welcome to this Friday's video. Um, I was requested from someone to do a Maycon um, tips video or survival guide. So, welcome to Racial Groupified Maycon Survival Guide. So I'm sick. I'm sorry everyone in my city is sick. So I'm gonna try my best not to sound so nasally, but that's what it is. That's the problem. So let's get into this video. Um, so on my experience video, I was asked a lot of questions um, about the event itself and other things about the event. So I am going to base this video kind of off on those questions. So let's get into it. But first, I'm gonna start off with saying um, a little bit about the. Obviously, for those that are watching this, you probably understand what MagCon is, and you were probably deciding whether you wanted to go or not. Um, in my opinion, I would say yes. Check that off your list. Go do it. Because I had such a fun time. Um, I went with some people I met at Grant's thing last year. It's like, all together, it was a fun experience. It's just something like I like to do. I like to go to these type of concerts and like game things from them, if that makes sense in any way. I'm gonna go through some questions. Some grand ones, so. Oh, also thank you for 9,000 views. That's like way too many. <laughs> That's a lot. That's like a lot of people. Someone asked me if you make a poster and you bring it, could you get chosen for VIP? Um, I would say yes at my show. I don't really remember if someone did get chosen by making a poster, but they did hand out some VIP wristbands for the show. Um, yeah. <laughs> Another really asked question was, um, when you meet them, do they not film it? Because when I met them, I would prefer that. When I meet them, I would prefer that. Um, when I went in line, they, um, I just had my camera open. So until everyone, I went through until I got to Cameron, just took pictures, but I'm here's what I would say to do if you want them to have videos I would have it straight on the video thing because they'll hit or I would hit record and then I would have them Do that and then they'll just like send it online and they'll also like hit the little picture button too So that they can pick both and stuff like that Another question um, they asked what time did the actual event start? Um, well, they let us in the doors at 1:45. I would say the show maybe started at 2.30, everything, everyone was in, and started going by that time, I think. Another question that was asked actually a lot, everyone was asking how tall I was. I'm pretty sure I'm 5'5", five five. I might be 5'5 five five and a half. Um, I feel like I'm 6 feet tall because I'm pretty much taller than everyone, but I would range my uh, height by 5'5-ish. Five five Here is a also very good question. Um, how do you get your pictures and videos taken? Like, is there someone there to do the pictures or does someone else have to do it? Like, are they with you and stuff like that? Um, there are people there. So if you want to go by yourself, they have people there to take pictures for you. Um, they're very good at it. So don't worry about your pictures turning out bad because they're good. And I met them, did I feel rushed? Uh, no, not at all. More so myself, I felt like I had a rush. No, it's not rushed at all. I mean, if you're taking like an excessively long time, maybe seven to ten minutes with the person, yeah, you might get rushed. Um, if you have to say something or have to give them something or have to do something, you can do that. It's pretty lenient with that. So, um, but myself in general, I was kind of just like wanting to get through it because I wanted to get to Cameron. Um, but yeah, does VIP get the family photo also? Um, no, that is a separate thing. That's why on the website <laughs> there's family photo, VIP, or general mission and priority or whatever. If you want family photo, the way this works is you'll get family photo in that section or that ticket goes in at 11.45 and you get in line to do the family photo. I don't know if that includes a general admission also. Probably does. Um, but then they send you back out and you get in the general admission line. In VIP, with VIP, you um, obviously you get to do the meet and greet, and um, you get let in 
earliest. So, uh, I also a question that I got asked was, was it worth it to get VIP? I think if you really want to meet the guys, yes, get VIP because that's how you meet them. But if you want to see the show and be like right at the barricade, um, for VIP, you get sent back in the middle of the show to meet them and then you're at the back of the crowd so I think basing it upon what you like how you want your like show to be or whatever um, if you want to be at the barricade be have general admission um, and get there early um, but if you want to meet them get VIP or a family photo either one are they really awkward when you meet them because I'm really nervous and their eyes are so nice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and, um, honestly, no, they're not awkward. <laughs> Unless you're awkward. Um, I'm probably the most awkward person you could ever meet in your life, so it was awkward for me. Like, every time I do a meet and greet, because it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, basically, when I just have Jonah, I've met Jonah, like, multiple times, but I'm still just like, I don't really know what to say. Um, so I think if you feel comfortable and you're not awkward, no, it's not gonna be awkward. Does GA finish earlier than VIP? So like, this question I didn't really understand. Um, the show ends at the same time. So for that question. Uh, at the end of the marathon show, and I'm sure they, they do this, I think, yeah, everyone does it. They have everyone going to one big line and they go sit at the merch tables and they sign merch and stuff. Um, I didn't stay for that, I left because I had to drive home and I didn't feel like sitting in the parking lot full of traffic, so I just, I left. <laughs> Do you have to pay for the pictures at the VIP? Yep, they're taking on your phone. Handy dandy technology we have these days. Okay, here's the question that I was always wondering before I went. Um, how long do you have to get there before the line gets long? This, I feel, is the most valuable question. MVQ. <laughs> because I have never been as close to a barricade in my life before my con. I got there at 10.30 um, and that time, grand time to get there. I don't know, so that's like three hours before the time you get let in. So yeah, a lot of the questions um, like were the same, so I felt making this video would help. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about or like things that I think will help make your experience better. Um, I'm gonna rant a little bit for your signs. The people that bring really fake signs. Um, I'm one of those people that if you don't hold your sign up the whole time and when people are performing, I'm not gonna care if you have a sign. But if you're in front of me and your sign is bigger than Australia and you hold it up, during a performance the whole time I'm gonna say something and I think that goes for many people um, in the, the whole VIP sign thing they'll be like oh if you have one of VIP hold up your signs that's when you hold them up or when they have the little break things that they do at the show um, but shoes comfortable shoes wear them <laughs> my shoes I wore them to MagCon and Jonah's show, and each time, I don't know why I wore them again after MagCon, because my feet felt like they were going to fall off. Um, clothing, honestly, unless you really want to dress up a lot, I would rather be comfortable. And also wear like layers, because you'll get like super hot, and you can like take off a layer or something like such a, um, hair binders, hair ties. Um, Keep a wrist full in case someone like on the sides like, hey, I'm sweaty. Oh, do you need a hair binder? Here you go. Because when you're in a mosh pit, you like, I was sweating. If you have VIP and um, you have A, honestly, if you have any VIP, but A, um, and you're right at the barricade, um, I would back up and just start going in line for VIP because when they all come out at first and start singing, you know she bad though, um, you will get sprayed on with water. And if you do not want to mess your makeup or your hair, 
I would stand back because they spray water everywhere. When you're standing in line, don't stand the whole time. I made that mistake and ended up standing for 10 hours that day. Um, um, and also, if you want to have fun and just have a good time and dance and shake your booty, booty drop, do it because I have fun doing that. So I think I said that in my last video. Um, make friends with people. Um, because you'll see them again. Like, I didn't really talk to anyone at the Nikon thing besides my friends that were there with me. And when I went to Jonas thing, everyone was talking about Nikon. I made so many friends at Jonas. Um, and thank you, I'm crazy, because I went there by myself and then I had fun with like, all these Thank you. Um, but yeah, make friends because they're into the same thing that you are. So you'll have stuff to talk about all the time. So. If this video was informational, and you have any more questions, you can leave them down below in this video or in my makeup community video. Um, but if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, I would like to check very much. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next Friday. And yeah. Deuces.